self-sabotage we all do it it's something that i've been working on not doing as much recently in my life and it's really something that stops you from reaching that success that you're really striving for it stops you from reaching that better point in life simply because you're afraid of the outcome you're afraid of what's to come it's an unknown circumstance and it's an unknown outcome that you don't really have control of and that really implements fear into your heart you know you start to question you start to wonder if you can really achieve it you start to wonder if you can if you can really do it and that old version of you that doubtful version of you will resurface real resurface in those times that old version of you will tell you that you can't achieve it that old version of you will tell you that you can't do it but you can do it i promise you you can all you have to do is put that action in to get it done you feel me don't implement actions that will sabotage what you're building if you're trying to quit smoking and you go on a a good street you know you go on a good two-week street and you know you're trying to stop smoking and you get that urge to oh i need to roll me one up right now i need to roll me one up so you go ahead and you buy that weed you know what i'm saying you go ahead and you buy that leaf you feel me that's self-sabotage because you know you're trying to stop smoking <laughs> You know you're trying to stop smoking, and you're already operating in your new self by simply taking that two-week break, you know what I'm saying? You're letting your old self resurface and dictate your actions, and that's not good for you. You know, I find myself oftentimes and not really self-sabotaging myself when it comes to relationships. That's where I really am aware that I really do self-sabotage. Um, <laughs> like, okay, so I recently got out of a past relationship and that was one of my longest relationships. And I think that relationship really showed me what I needed to work on for real. And I've been working on it. So when it comes to getting in relationships with other people nowadays i really do prefer and i enjoy my own energy and it's not that i don't want to give my energy to anybody else but i really do prefer my own energy you know and i'm not as trustworthy and open as i was in the past simply off the fact that i'm more aware and I have more boundaries nowadays like and when I do find myself getting close to somebody and when I do find myself really starting to really dive into someone you know dive into them emotionally physically mentally spiritually you know I I self sabotage I push away. I extract myself from the situation. I back off. That's self-sabotage, you know? Because who who knows? That person could be the person that really shows me a different side of the relationship situation. That person could be the person who really helps me understand how to really be in a relationship you know but i always well i'm not gonna say i always because that's something that i'm working on i'm working on letting my guard down i'm working on really being more open and being more accepting and being more understanding you know i'm working on it and i feel like that's what really matters i'm working on it but that doesn't stop the fact that I do self-sabotage a lot when it comes to relationships. Like, I'll just back off. I'll take my energy back. I'll stop talking to them. 
for a period of time, you know what I'm saying? And it's no hard feelings. It's no hard feelings at all. It's just, I really don't know if I'm really ready to get into a relationship, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know. And I feel like that's something that really stops me from doing that. It's like, if I if I know that I'm not ready to get into a relationship, it's like, why why even talk to a female, you know? But <laughs> I'm a human, you know what I'm saying? I'm a male. I love women, bro. I love women, so I love talking to women, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to talk to them. But relationship, as far as a relationship goes, I don't know, man. You really got to show me. You really got to show me that you deserve a relationship nowadays. And I run into, I run into a couple females who have shown me that they're relationship material who have showed me that they're on their purpose i ran into a lot of productive females and i (laughs) self-sabotage i self-sabotage because i wasn't ready you know and it's like man self-sabotaging is just the worst dude it's the worst but i don't regret any of my decisions at the end of the day and neither should you but you should stop self-sabotaging and stop letting that old version of you take control. You know what I'm saying? Do what you want to do at the end of the day. Don't let fear dictate your decision, man. Let's get it. <laughs> Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Hopefully y'all found some useful information inside the video. You know what I'm saying? Take control of your life. Don't let that old version of you resurface and dictate your actions. Don't let that old version of you control your life and take you back to your old vices, you know. If you really want to change, if you really want change in your life, you have to take control. You can't let that old version of you come back, no matter how hard the urges are, you feel me? But let this year be a year of self-mastery. Let this year be the year that you really change your life for the better. Let this year be your year of change, man. For real. 2024 is a year of change. And if you really take the action and put in the effort to change, I feel like this year will really reward you for doing so. You feel me? We're in different times. We're in new times energetically, spiritually, you know. And your spiritual vibration will really affect your reality. Need I say that again, your spiritual vibration will really affect your reality. So make sure you stand on top of your vibration. Make sure you speak in life into the universe. Make you make sure you speak in life into your loved ones. Make sure you speak in life into yourself. Because that life will translate. You feel me? Stop speaking death over your situations. Cause that ain't gonna do nothing but bring more death. You feel me? No cap, man. It's your boy, Ricky. Ricky's wisdom grateful enemies man coming to y'all with another banger if you enjoyed the video make sure you like comment and subscribe man we going up we going all the way up instead of i decided to instead of just doing videos in my room on my desk i would come outside because it does feel pretty nice outside and i'm gonna start honestly doing videos like this like going hiking you know what i'm saying Speaking wisdom into y'all life, speaking life into y'all life, things of that nature. Peace, though.